Hello and welcome to another episode with the Autistic Angler. Today, it's early on Sunday morning and I'm fishing at Langston Harbour again. I checked my worms this morning, I had left over the other day, and they're still alive and wriggling. It's um, three hours, or well, just after, just before, it's about two and three quarters to high tide. There's an egret in the water there. And over there, there's an idiot. <laughs> right on the end of that spit, there's two people in the water. Looks like they're lure fishing for bass. And I've only brought the Rovex out today. Because I haven't got too many worms and I thought I'd just have a nice gentle session. I'm hoping that it might be a better time to get them green. Because the only time I've caught them before is in daylight. Rather than a couple of days ago when I was here in night time. Yeah, sorry, she rushed my breakfast to get out. Yeah, the flags over there are quite limp, but there is a little bit of a wind. But it should be okay. There's no ripples on the water in the harbour. Now, both of those uh, lure fishermen have gone deep now. Waded in deep, up to their waists, both of them. I'm out with all the joggers and the dog walkers this morning. There's not a single other person fishing apart from those two lure fishing. And then to be honest, you don't get a lot of bait fishermen here. There's a couple of people in the blocks where I live that come out. They come out during the summer and get some nice big bass here. What I'm after today, fish. Now here's the thing. Which rig was I using the other day? I'm pushing that one. That's a kennel. Oh well. I suppose I'm going to have to pull on, put my hands on straight away. Oh, there it is. Now. Now, do you know what? I'll go with this clipped two hook flapper rather than my um, cotton bug rig. Because I'm liking this two hook flapper because uh, obviously the worms don't fly off in the cast. Whereas I have found with the uh, cotton bug that they can fly off in the cast. Uh, one of the guys has climbed out of the water now out there. You should be able to see both of them in the distance. Time to check the bait. And I think I'll cast this one in a bit closer. Didn't seem to have a bite. I've just had my first bite. See if he comes back. Yeah, one of the guys that was lure fishing has come right in close. The other guy's still out there. You could probably see him beyond the rod. 
I'll have another little tap, so I think I'll check the worms. Yeah, well there are a lot of starlings there, look. Well that took a long time, but I've just had a bite. It's an hour before high tide. I don't get it with these fish. You'd think if they find a worm and have a tug, they'd go round in circles and have another go. And a couple of people that have been viewing my videos, they've set up down by the uh, flags. So I hope they have some success, better than me. At the moment, I think I'd rather fish in the harbour than out on the seafront. Apparently the weed, like I experienced down in the harbour entrance the other day, is really bad on the beach, so... I might give it another week or so before I have another go. What the hell, let's show you. Zoom in just a touch. See, uh, got a little bit of wind picked up now. I don't know if you can see the guys right at the foot of the uh, flags. That's where they're set up. So I'm getting some more bites. It's close to high tide now. Thought I had a fish then, but it wasn't. Fresh bait out and I'm getting bites. Well, I was. Definitely played hard to get today, they are. And I just found this lot on the beach. Packet of empty mackerel, some Jacob's minis, and that, whatever that is, looks like some stops. You knew you need to clear, clear up after yourselves. So I've changed rigs to the uh, cotton bug boom rigs to see if that makes a difference. And a different weight. And I've been trying with that clip rig for a time. Yes, I've had a couple of fish on it. But not today. So I'm going to try that one and see. past high tide now. So this has turned out to be quite a difficult day then. And the tide's dropping now. The rig didn't make a difference I don't think.
lot less weight. Right. I put the last of the worm on. There you go, last of the bait going out. So this will be the last cast then. So let's make it a good one. You know what? Let's really chuck it out then. Right. That's out there soaking. So it sounds like I was in the wrong spot. Those gentlemen, or guys that were down by the uh, flags, they had a couple of small bass and a couple of bream. And the gentleman that was just walked past again, that was lure fishing, he had some small bass down there as well. So I must have been in the wrong place today. But hey, it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, by the way, if you're watching, thank you very much for giving me those worms. I'll have a fish with them probably later or tomorrow. We'll see. Oh, anything, mate? No, nah, not tonight. Nah. Yeah, that must be about my 30th that we caught anything tonight. Crikey, it did go out a long way. And the worms are untouched. Right, that's be done then. 